Hello all, my name is Krishna Ayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, I'm going to discuss about this particular website which is called as rsip.org. What is this? It is a free distribution service and open access archive for more than 1 million scholarly articles in the field of physics, mathematics, computer science, quantitative biology, quantitative finance, statistics, electrical engineering and system science and economics. Now, as I've told you, if you are actually planning to become a data scientist, the main thing is that we need to learn continuously because there's a whole lot of research that is actually happening in the space of data science. And trust me, guys, based on the work, we should always try to learn those things so that whenever we get an opportunity, we should be able to implement it. Now, definitely reading research paper, reading theses, reading some of the information regarding those researches will be definitely helpful. Now, suppose if I and in this particular website, you can see that uh, there are various domains that are captured. Mathematics is also there. Computer science is also there. Now, me as a data scientist, I definitely want to go into this particular website and search for some of the things that I want to actually see. Suppose I'm, I have a plan to learn GAN, you know, uh, and I'm doing a lot of research on this particular GAN subject also. Now, with respect to GAN, you'll be able to see all the different kind of use cases that their people have actually implemented. The researchers have actually implemented and you can basically go into the PDF and learn about it, you know, and uh, this particular uh, uh, This particular website also helps you to publish your paper And if you want to understand how to actually publish your paper into this particular website Open this particular new tab and just try to search for how to publish paper in our save. Okay So the first uh, YouTube video will actually help you to understand how to actually publish paper and if you don't know about this particular website, guys, uh, this is of uh, owned by Cor uh, Cornell University, and it is uh, basically supported by the Simon Foundation and member institution. Okay, so all this particular research paper, anything you search for, you want to search for NLP, you want to search for RCNN, any advanced concepts that you want, you can definitely get uh, it through from here. Now, one of the research paper which I was trying to open over here, uh, and trust me, the papers are uh, the PDF sizes are also big. Because I just tried to upload it a while back and still it is getting loaded okay so I'll just show you because the research papers are also written in a better format which is pretty much important okay which is pretty much important now one more thing that I would like to mention about this is that um, now students who are doing their masters and PhD can also publish the paper over here they'll also get a, a good amount of feedbacks from the people from the expertise uh, who are actually reading your paper uh, so this gives a very good way to understand that how good you have actually written your thesis or your scholarly articles in the field of some specific domains that you have actually selected. Okay. Now, uh, apart from this, guys, just try to search. Okay. The, I'll, I'll give this particular link in the description of this particular video. And trust me one thing, guys, you need to learn continuously if you are planning to move into data science. It is pretty much important. And many of you have also asked me that, Krish, how do you keep yourself up to date see I, I every day at least 15 to 20 minutes i try to find out any new things that have come that the research have actually come since i work in a company i don't do any much of research as such but i try to learn the things that have come um, recently that the scholars are actually doing the research onto that right and if they have published a paper i'll try to read it yes definitely in the first read i'll not be able to understand anything because again, I'm not a PhD guy. I'm not an expertie on something. Okay, I'm still learning. So I, I call myself that I, I learn like that. I am not an expert in anything as such. Whatever things are there, I try to implement it. Then I try to gain the knowledge. So this should be the strategy that you should also follow. If you're not planning for masters and PhD, try to learn things in a proper way. Try to implement those things. Okay, so that will be helpful uh, for that. And till then, let this uh, PDF get upload it and again the size is quite huge yes so let it get uploaded but you can see that in the computer science which i am pretty much interested in uh, computer vision and pattern recognition cryptography and security and data structures and algorithms or uh, distributed player and cluster computing emerging technologies a lot of research paper there which which is an amazing amazing uh, distribution service of so many archives of various articles guys this is amazing i'd like to thank uh, cornell university for that and this is a wonderful opportunity for everyone all you need to have is internet access to actually access all these things 
Now you here you can see that um, implementing a natural user interface to command a drone. So this is with the help of open post. I I'm also very much interested in understanding open post and some part some initial part of open post I've actually done in my company, but not in this advanced level where we are able to just control the drone with our open post direction that we do with our hands and all. But this is one research paper which will actually help you to understand how they have actually done it. You can see that with wonderful diagrams, uh, they are able to explain you a lot of things. You can see this is amazing. This is just amazing. Definitely, if you read it for the first time, this this formulas will look like anything for you, and definitely will not. I'll also not be able to understand. But to understand these sort of things, it will take time. You know, when you're implementing open pose initially, then how you can actually advance it. All the things and all the references that they have actually made, everything you can actually see it from here also. So pretty much amazing research papers are there. Try to read it, try to understand it. You will be definitely able to learn a lot of things. So this was what uh, I wanted to tell you about this. Just have a look onto this particular website. The link will be given in the description. Try to search for open post. Try to search for LSTM RNN. Try to search for Mast RCNN, YOLO frameworks, and try to understand whether. Uh, and try to see the type of use cases they have actually done you know and uh, all these topics see all this research have already been done right uh, they, they developed the open post but in this particular website they focus more on the application part and how they have actually implemented it right so pretty much amazing thing uh, just have a look and yes uh, this was all about this particular video i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you and all bye bye